I just heard from Mark Manson that when it comes to setting goals or setting habits, making something consistent on a daily basis, you should only focus on one to two things at a time. So I thought about this what is the one to two thing that I want to focus on right now? Looking at my life right now, when it comes to making videos every day, that's already a habit. I've been doing it for over 110 days now. So I don't need to set that as a goal anymore. The next thing that I'm going to set is going to the gym first thing in the morning. So that's going to be habit number one. And habit number two is when I come back, or maybe the night before even, whenever it is, the goal will be to set a calendar for the day, set a time blocking schedule. At first, my goal won't even be to see how closely I can follow my calendar. The initial goal will just be to set my calendar on a daily basis. I've been struggling with setting a calendar on and off for a long time, some days with success, some days without success. But so many people say it's a game changer for your day-to-day -day life. And so I do wanna try giving this a serious shot, just like going to the gym every morning. So going to the gym first thing in the morning and setting a calendar for the day, that's all I'm gonna focus on for the time being. And to be honest, setting the calendar will probably lead to other things working out in terms of how better I'm gonna spend the rest of my day. To share something I've been doing lately, I've cleaned up a lot of my YouTube page. And what I mean by that is, I've unsubscribed to most of the channels. I think I have like 30 something subscriptions, but a lot of them don't even post that often. And I also cleaned up my watch later playlist. I unchecked all, mo almost all of them. So I only have like less than 10 videos in my watch later playlist that I actually want to watch at some point. I set a strict boundary so that even if I like some of their videos, if I don't want to keep watching all their new videos, then I just unsubscribe to them regardless. So now the benefit is that my subscription page is completely filled with only videos that I actually want to watch. Because I spent a lot of time doing that today and watching a lot of YouTube, I think the goal I'm gonna set for tomorrow in tomorrow's calendar is to spend zero time watching YouTube. And my mantra that I wrote down in my phone, other than are you dreaming, which I'm still trying to lucid dream, so I'm checking if I'm dreaming or not. I also wrote down, you are realizing your potential. And I wrote that down because I've heard before from different people that you have so much potential, Paul. And I'm thinking, yeah, you're absolutely right. I can feel that I have potential and I'm not fully realizing it. So I want to make this statement true. You are realizing your potential. Realizing my potential, number one, is to take care of my body. So let's do this, baby. See you tomorrow. 1% better every day, baby. I was just at the gym. I did stationary cycling for 50 minutes. My biceps are so sore from yesterday. So man, I guess yesterday was a really good workout. While I was cycling, I was wondering whether I should listen to an audiobook or just be with my thoughts. I haven't really made up my mind. I was spending half and half listening to something and not listening to something. If you have a book recommendation of a book that you would love to listen to again and again and again, let me know in the comments if you have a great book. You like you like sitting down on chairs, Tigger? Mm -hmm. You like sitting down on chairs? Apple, apple, apple. <laughs> 